I just want to say before we get started that this game blew my mind. And for good reason. So let's get right into it. First of all, I just want to give a massive shout out to the Happy Console Gamer. Thank you so much for showing me this game. This game blew my mind, like I said earlier. And um, I thought it deserves to be talked about for sure. This game has a massive scope, has great characters, a great story, and just the gameplay is absolutely stellar. So this game is kind of hard to talk about its story, to be honest. It's not really like there's a bad guy and there's a good guy and, you know, you resolve it that way. It's very, very religious, very political, very war-driven, character-driven. There's a lot of twists, a lot of turns. And yeah, it's a very, very long game, so there should be a lot of stuff like that. But, you know, this game has a lot of hype built around it for, yeah, being an underrated game. This game was major in scope, and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. So with Xenogears, you have your main character, Fei Long Wong. It's kind of a funny name, but I like it. Um... He's basically, he has amnesia, he doesn't know, he doesn't remember the past 10 years of his life and stuff like that. And basically, it's his story on trying to uncover who he is, what his past is, and stuff like that. He kind of gets a glimpse of it throughout the story. But he ends up meeting a fantastic cast of characters like Sitin, Bart, Ellie, Choo Choo, Emeralda, Rico. All those guys are just standout characters in this game and have such rich backstories i get explained to you right in front of your eye well i don't want to spoil too much about the story the story revolves heavily around gundam mech whatever you want to call them in this game they are called gears and gears have to be one of my favorite part about this game the well tell that the main character Faye gets his gear is so so cool even the rest of the cast of characters get their own gears. It is super, super cool to see them evolve and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm not going to be spoiling too much of the story. So let's get right into the scope of the game. So right off the bat, whenever you finish the game, it's not really a spoiler, but it says part five Xenogears, the end. So what that means is this game is a is the fifth game in a six part game series but it's the only game in the series. Yeah, it is kind of weird, but they have this book called the Xenogears Perfect Works, which explains every single episode in the Xenogears saga, basically. The Perfect Works book explains how everything works, down to the gear fuel, down to everything, down to the minuscule little enemies that you fight. Everything in the game gets explained in that book. Like I was saying earlier, the game deals with a lot of religion and stuff like that, reincarnation, um, a lot of, you know, personality dysmorphia, you know, knowing who you really are, um, changing personalities. There's a lot of heavy controversial stuff like that in this game. Uh, and it was very, very fun to unfold. One problem I do have, though, is it did take a while to get through, um, but I loved it. And after this game, it spawned a trilogy of games called Xeno Saga for the PlayStation 2. If you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I got in this for my birthday recently. Uh, all three episodes, and I'm super, super excited to get into it. Uh, Xeno Gears, which is the game I'm reviewing right now, and Xeno Saga aren't connected, I'm pretty sure. But I think they're in the same universe. Um, so I'm, I don't think it's going to be a continuation of the story, but it might be a continuation of the universe, which would be really, really cool to see. And I cannot wait to see just more of Xeno in general. I've played Xenoblade and I'm not really a big fan of it. So now that you know what the story is a little bit about and now that you kind of have a gist of what it feels like, let me tell you about the gameplay. So the gameplay in this has to be my favorite JRPG combat system ever. Just, just because of the death blows alone. What a death blow is, is every character has a certain amount of hits they can do per turn 
and the more hits you can do, the more chain combos you can do. Triangle being the light attack, square being the middle attack, and X being the heavy attack. Um, you can do some pretty sick combos. Uh, if you can see the footage right now, there are some really, really cool combos that you can do in the game. Um, seeing Happy Console Gamer talk about it, and then seeing the gameplay instantly sold me on it. I mean, I'm a sucker for pixel graphics, and um, this just looked right up my alley. Um, every character has their own unique death blows that look awesome, and they all, you know, it's a kind of it's a grindy game. So you gotta grind for your death blows and stuff like that. You don't start with much, but you do get some of the best looking weapons and coolest looking death blows towards the end of the game. There's characters that unlock different weapons towards the end of the game. There's characters that unlock different death blows. It is such a fun and versatile game to do. And that's just the on-foot combat. Not to mention the Gears combat, which I'm purposely not going to show because I want everyone to go out and play this game themselves and check it out themselves. Because the gear combat is my favorite part. The wall tall that Faye uses is such a cool part. I implore everyone go out and check Xenogears out. This game can be played on a PlayStation Vita, on an emulator. If you guys have a computer that can emulate a PS1 game, please play this game. It is long, it's a long commitment, but dude, this game slaps. The last, the second disc is very, you know, not up to par with the first disc. It is definitely unusual, like uh, Happy Console Gamer says, but it is such a satisfying ending, in my opinion, for being one game out of a six game story series. It hit out the park for sure. Like I was saying, guys, I want everyone to go out and check this game out. If you can, definitely go out and do it. Uh, it was, you know, hard for me to get through certain parts, but, you know, there are definitely parts that you definitely have to lug through. But it's such a fun and impactful experience. You know, it's so different than finishing, like, a 40 manga series, a 40-volume manga series, finishing, you know, a 40-hour game. And this is, like, it took me about 80 hours to finish this game, but it was so, so, so worth it. Um... But yeah, guys, that's been my Xenogears review. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Xbox Cut. Later, guys.